Hi, I'm Cecil. <laughs> Since Love Is Everywhere reached the UK Top 20 in February, life has certainly changed for the 21-year-old Scott and new teenage pin-up Dave Cicero. That success and his amazing talents as singer, songwriter and keyboard wizard have served to place Cicero in a league of his own. His musical prowess first brought him to the attention of the Pet Shop Boys, Neil and Chris. When they saw him playing a club in Scotland, they immediately signed him to their newly formed record label, Spaghetti Recordings. Spaghetti Recordings uh, came about really because of Cicero. I mean, Chris and I had had the idea for quite a while that we'd, quite, that we'd sort of like to have a record label just to, relief, just to release um, one-off dance records and stuff like that. But we thought it wasn't worth doing because we didn't want something which was just going to be like a, a sort of pathetic hobby. But then um, Cicero came along um, and we decided we wanted to get involved with him in his music. We felt that in pop music at the moment, uh, it's getting very old, and um, we decided we wanted to have, like Cicero, artists that are young, talented, and good looking, because we don't think there's made them around at the moment like that. There's been no let up in Cicero's work schedule this year. He's completed countless interviews and photo sessions, made personal appearances in clubs and record stores, taken part in the Radio One Roadshow and continued his gigs across the UK, constantly building a huge press and media profile. It's true to say that the level of interest in Cicero in such a short time is overwhelming. He has achieved front cover status in Smash Hits and Jackie magazine and appeared on all the major kids' TV shows, plus the chart show and the word, shown live from Austria. Cicero's international profile has now started to take off with interviews recently completed for Popcorn, Bravo and Wiener in Germany, MCM European Network Radio, Rock Over London, Super Channel and MTV. And we catch up with him now as he completes an interview in the back of a taxi en route to NBC and a radio interview for the American radio station Westwood One. Now you were born in the United States, but you yeah. have a very thick Scottish accent. <laughs> so you crossed the Atlantic at some stage in your life, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I mean my mum got across her to work as a nanny, and then she met my dad. And I was um, one and a half when I came back to Scotland. Mum got a divorce, we came back. So, I mean, I was brought up in Edinburgh um, all my life, really, went to school there and that. But, I mean, I visit my dad when I can, get across to the States and visit him. And what sort of music uh, do you like? I'm into mostly 1980 bands like Depeche Mode. The Depeche Mode's quite big in LA, so I've heard. Um, Erasure, Pet Shop Boys, of course. Um, just other sort of, all sort of electronic bands I love. 
Because of his demanding schedule, Cicero has now moved from Scotland and based himself in London, where, when he has time, he enjoys going to rave clubs. He has recently completed recording his debut album entitled Future Boy, which was co-produced by the Pet Shop Boys and David Jacob. This will be released internationally in the summer. His books are very good. <laughs> Selected works by Cicero. I mean, a bestseller for the last 2,000 years. <laughs> this is actually just one of them. Um, but so he's, you know, he's a, he's a renaissance man, really, in many ways. Cicero really enjoys good food. But when you have interviews, photo sessions and a gig all in one day, it is sometimes difficult to find time to eat. But today, Cicero manages to fit in a visit to a top London restaurant. <laughs> 